and welcome to this flow paper tutorial, Heat Maps. In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to turn on heat maps for your publication and how to view the data once it has been collected. Let's get going. First, I will go ahead and import my PDF. For today's tutorial, we are going to use the zine template. Heat maps are a way for you to collect data about how your readers are using your publication. It gives you a visual representation of reader behavior and engagement. To turn this function on, go to the left hand menu and choose the settings button. Then go on down to the analytics section of the menu and check the collect heat map data box. This functionality is available for creative license owners as well as team and pro license owners. Now choose apply settings to save your changes. Okay, let's publish to see how heat maps works. Now let's view in the browser. Here it is. Now you just have to share it with your readers and heat maps will begin to collect data. To view the data heat maps has collected, log into your account. Then head on down to cloud publications on the left hand side. Find the publication in the list and then select the heat map button beside it. Here it is. Let's head to a page we are interested in checking out. Here we can see the areas that are getting the most attention from your reader. The red section shows where the most engagement is happening, then to yellow and green, and finally blue where engagement isn't as strong. The white areas are where there has been no engagement at all. You can navigate through the pages by using the previous page and next page buttons, or by typing the page number in. If you want to clear this data and start over, just select the clear heat map data button. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this flow paper tutorial on heat maps. You can find more tutorials to help you through this process online.